All right. Good morning, people. I um, hope you all are having a super good day. Um, I am, it's Thursday, January 10th, 1052 AM, 2019, baby, and we're getting it. So I picked up a load in Pooler, Georgia for Uber Freight and delivered to Mar Martinsville, Virginia this morning. Uh, my appointment time, as you can see here, was uh, 0800. Uh, I got here at 0730, and I, I just got into a door at 11 o'clock. So this video is about how to request, or well, it's, about, it's about does Uber Freight pay detention time? And uh, if so, how do you do that, and how much do they pay? And the pro that's why I wanted to do this video because I've had to do it one other time and sometimes with other brokers this can be a painful and uh, annoying ass uh, process but it's your money man. Uh, so I have an appointment, another load I'm picking up two hours away, well hour and a half, two hours away in Salem, uh, Virginia and with C.H. Robinson. So, you know, the appointment time for this I scheduled out way far in advance enough to give me time to get there uh you know even with like a three hour but you know we're going on we're going on three hours right now so uh and i just got a door so that's usually another hour at least and these people have been very slow so what you do when yes uber freight pays detention i've done it one other time and it was seamless. Uh, basically, what happens is when you book a load with Uber, uh, you'll get a rate con in your email uh, agreeing to the terms, you know, like usual with other brokers. But the the detention time is much better than dealing with other brokers. And they pay $75 an hour over two hours after your appointment. So anything after, you know... Uh, two hours they start paying you uh that they, they they pay you 75 dollars an hour um so right now i'm just at 75 dollars um, but if they take another hour it'll be 150 bucks so how you how do you when you're on a load and you need to so technically they will tell you that you need to call uh and contact Uber Freight. So you hit this contact or it's in your email. It's pretty easy to find when you're on a load. Uh, so you just hit call and then it's pretty easy. The uh, You'll have to have your load ID number, um, which is, you know, right here. It won't let me select it to show you, highlight it. But as you can see, load ID, load number 709. So that, um, that's how you request a uh, uh that's how you request uh oh okay so yeah then you call them and then you you, you request you you basically say you let them know what's going on uh why you're right and then they'll send you a detention uh request form they'll email it to you and then boom you hit this <laughs> And this is what pulls up. It'll ask you, uh, please log seven days. Uh, MC, DOT number, full name, carrier contact, 10-digit load number. Uh, where was the driver held in detention? And then it, uh, amount of hours. And then upload your BOL. You can basically scan it. And then you submit it and they'll pay you. Uh, <clears throat> they'll pay you, so whatever your load pays, they'll add that detention time to your rate con. And uh, it's pretty simple, man. Um, I did it last time, and they paid me. Uh, so, it, it's and it's seventy five dollars an hour, which is uh, better than what it's better than any other broker that I've dealt with. Uh, you know, I've I hear of brokers trying to pay like freaking twenty dollars an hour or less for detention time. So that's that's bad, man. You know, as owner operators, uh, we need to. Um, we need to be compensated uh, for our um, downtime. Uh, so that's all this video was about. I hope this was helpful. Um, I, I uh, will be doing more videos 